Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and as you know from the last episode of my AC Milan one, I got sacked, fired, whatever you call it, unfairly in my opinion, I didn't think I was doing that bad, but has resulted me to start a new career with Aston Villa, and yeah, it's, it's something you have to take in Football Manager, I've never got fired, so I've never really thought uh, what to do after that, like I've always, when I make a new game, uh, because I'm sure you can tell already that I like to buy young players and build my own team. Uh, so with that, I I never really want to change teams, even though if I get offers from a better team, I never really want to leave because I normally uh, build with young players and then I wouldn't want to see another manager uh, succeed because of my good transfers. So uh, that's the thing. So I decided to go with a team that doesn't have really high expectations so I can just settle in mid-table uh, for a season or two before... Yeah, before those young players become really good. And Aston Villa is probably the perfect uh, perfect example. You see the board, they only expect a mid-table position. They definitely have the talents, especially with Ben Teke in the update. He's very good. And that's why the uh, leagues don't have the real names, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, in this update, that, that, that changes it. And I, could, I thought to do it without the update of new players. Because, uh, or not because, I was thinking to do it uh, to have... Yeah, to have the real names, but I just thought it's just the name of the league, and yeah, it's not such a big deal. But anyway, moving away from that, yeah, they just don't have too much high expectations, no board promises, um, anything else is not really... The only bad thing, I guess, is the wage budget, it's over, I'll look to change it, but I can easily just change it like this. Uh, where do we go right here? Uh, the board room, where everything goes wrong. Uh, anyway, you just go back like here. And I don't even plan to make any signings in the first season. Because if you think about it, this is the team Aston Villa had the start of the previous season. So I think I'll just leave it at that. Maybe get a free transfer if there's anyone uh, of a decent value. But yeah, I'll analyze the team. Uh, like I said, well, firstly, I'll go through the squad. And here, yeah, they've got a lot of hot prospects already without me signing. The jaws are core. Uh, he's a very, very good center back in the game for the future. And he can do the job already. Uh, he's very got, got oh, he's got good natural fitness, which makes him yeah he's uh, that works in a different ways during the game. It mostly well this means like for attacking players it helps uh, with players that have good pace and dribbling it helps how uh, along with that like for wingers and that it makes him a bit faster at least from my what what I read in explanations. But I'm not sure if that's just people other people's opinions and this is my opinion. But anyway, apart from that, yeah he's a very good defender. And yeah, that's pretty much it. He's very aggressive. Sometimes that can be a centre back's downfall and get red cards, but it's not like too high, like a twenty, uh, like Papadopoulos. He's, that's is definitely bad for him. And then there's Andy Vyman, a very good attacking player. Can play striker out wide, uh, high potential. I actually like him a lot in real life. Uh, so he's definitely one player I'll look to build for the future. He can play striker out wide. Ideally, I'm going to play him out wide because of the next guy right here, Christian Benteke. Uh, he got a very very big update right here. Uh, by the guy who made this update, LFC Marshall. I might leave a link if there's enough requests for it. But anyway, yeah, he's a very good striker. Got a very big deserved update because previously he was very underrated in the game. And he had a very good real-life performance. I suppose his rating uh, was fair to before he came to Aston Villa. But then he definitely showed that he is a good player. And yeah, I've always wanted to be Aston Villa like the last couple of years. But the expectations uh, were too high. Uh, to what I believe that I could achieve, and th like I thought, I've always chosen a safe team. Uh, like you probably wonder with Arsenal because they're just expected to come, uh, obviously like a fourth or something. And with the team they have, it's easy to achieve. Uh, but yeah, to be honest, Arsenal do pretty good. They they qualify for Champions League every year. And that's not it's not a hard, it's not an easy thing to do. And yeah, you know their fans might not be happy because they, they don't win trophies or anything. But it's a very good achievement uh, qualifying, coming in the top four every single season. So uh, that's very good. And also another new signing. They've got heaps of new signings, which I like. Antonio Luna. He's got a four-star report, like the four-star potential uh, coming up from Sevilla. He's a very good player. Obviously having experience in the Liga BBVA. So he has the experience at the top level. And he's a very good attacking fullback. So that's definitely something will suit my formation. I'm going to go with the same formation up until I got fired from AC Milan. It was doing good. I was able to beat PSG 2-0. Uh, so it does it, it does have good sides to it, and we bet Inter as well. Uh, so uh, we it, it is definitely very good, and that's during the period when we have so many injuries and just my morale is bad. So I think with Aston Villa it can be good, and we also have players to complement that. In AC Milan, we didn't we didn't really have too much wingers. Uh, we just had a couple, and I was playing mostly strikers as wingers. That was the main problem, I think. And with Aston Villa, another signing right here. Leandro Bakuna, 
He can play on the right wing, so that's very good. Again, another young player. So he can play a lot of positions, so I can really uh, mold him into the player I want. And Aston Villa, I kind of like the colors of their team. Like, you got the light blue there, and this kind of red kind of color. Um, and yeah, it, it looks... Or Marone, yeah, that's Marone, isn't it? It's a good mix, if you ask me. So, and that's a big thing. I know it's probably a bit weird. Is anyone else the same? Um, I really like to be a team that has good colors, not like someone. Let's just check someone out here. Uh, I'm not sure who, like Fulham. I really, or I suppose Fulham's not bad. Some team that's just like uh, predominantly white, like Swansea. Yeah, I couldn't be them. Look at, I could not do a series on Swansea when it's looking like that. Leave your comments uh, if that's just stupid or not, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's just terrible to look at, in my opinion. It hurts my eyes. So definitely, I like to be a, like a darker color or a lighter color. That's not bad. Like obviously, this is lighter color. But anyway, I'm talking about things that's not important. Uh, as you see, I'm using the uh, similar tactic, or it's the same tactic really. And I'll just uh, ask to pick from my assistant, and that's how it lines up. We've got Benteke as a striker and Zogby. I'll not to forget him. He's a, a very experienced player at Premier League level. Obviously, got pace. He's always been solid in Football Manager for me. I had him like one, one or two times. I think it was like in Football Manager 2008, so it was quite a while ago. I believe that was like in for Newcastle, yeah. I remember, yeah, I was being Newcastle when he was in my team. And I may have signed him for another team, I can't really remember. Uh, but he's a very good player for the left side. Uh, can teach him to play left back if needed. He can be very attacking in that position. But uh, mentally, he's not as great. So that's a big thing. Uh, in these top leagues, especially in the Premier League, uh, yeah, and just one thing, people say, I pro or I'm guessing people say I always start careers like on FIFA and full manager in England. Uh, that's uh, for a couple of reasons, uh, because they're the players I know the most, and especially the opposition, that's a big thing. And knowing the opposition in the other leagues, I basically have no idea about the opposition, because Premier League is the most league I'm familiar with, and also uh, the players' names. I know how to uh, definitely pronounce them compared to other leagues, and it's just better uh, instead because re being realistic, if you don't pronounce a names right, people, some people don't like it, and then they don't watch the video. But if I do Premier League, uh, that's definitely a safe thing for me because at least probably 99 out of 100 names I can get correct. So uh, those are the two big reasons for that. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm not going to make this one too long, like getting into all this stuff. I'm going to do it like people suggested. I'm going to do, not play every single match, but still, uh, I'm going to do a lot of, like some episodes, I might not even do a match. If it's like a lot on transfers, I might focus on transfers for an episode, uh, play a month or so in. Yeah, it's not going to be exactly a month. It's just going to, I'm going to play until I can make the video uh, next, but still, because I don't want to take too long, but I want it to be, yeah, I don't want to get through a season too quickly, like in one or two days. That would be unrealistic for me, but I don't want it to be too long at the same time. Get a good balance. And there's a lot, there's heaps of more things because I can't really talk about it too much because I've got to check the balance of the team, uh, transfer list some players that I don't think have a future at the team. And I'm not, I'm still, even though I said I want to focus on young players uh, so I can focus on that for a couple of seasons then build, I still want to get some quality players in. So if you look at some transfer listed players, uh, that's the thing. At the start of every game, yeah, at the start of every game, it's the same players. That's something I don't like because you see always the same players transfer listed. And I always like to go to transfer listed players because uh, they're the easiest to buy. And there's some very quality players that are, are probably underrated in their value and you can get really cheap. Like here, Stephen DeFore uh, from FC Porto. This is why I mean mentally he would suit the Premier League uh, very good. Technically, he's not amazing, but he can just sit in that defensive midfield position, uh, win the ball back. Well, he's not amazing at tackling, I suppose. Uh, passing is his, yeah, passing is what he's good at. And, uh, yeah, but he is a defensive midfielder. He could just, he could be very good. If you, I'm well, not very good. He can just do the job at this level. If you see the teams that's interesting, we're like the same level as these teams you can see here. Uh, so, yeah, he could be a good signing for us. Uh, especially, you gotta, um, yeah, I'm basically gonna look what I need first. I'll go away from this and I'll just go into uh, general info. If I go to positions, I really want to have a couple players in each position. You got, yeah, but we have a lot of young players. That's what I really got to focus on. Um, center backs. Uh, center backs is a, like, a big problem for me. You got Nathan Baker. He's still a young player, but let's take a look at him. Uh, he could probably do the job, but still, he's a young player. You got to be careful of that, even though he has good potential. Uh, same with Jaws Accor. He's in the same boat. The only experience we have is really Ron Vla. He's a very, obviously, experience. Experience is a big thing I've noticed lately within Football Manager. And yeah, my time, I remember one I did with, I think it was Birmingham back in Football Manager 2008. Uh, they had 
obviously they're a team that was expected to get relegated. And I really enjoyed it because I signed uh, like middle age players, like in between what about twenty three and twenty seven. I signed experience, and I really enjoyed it. I'm not sure like what the exact reason was. I want to really get back to that. So that's why. Uh, one reason I'm choosing Aston Villa, um, a team that doesn't have too high expectations, a team where I can sign some players I probably never signed before or even heard of before, uh, because they're not they're not at a like a world class level, but they can do it at the top league, uh, like satisfactorily, if that makes sense. Like they're st- they're still a good player, but obviously not top four team level. Uh, so it allows me to sign those kind of players, which I wouldn't sign for like an Arsenal or another top four team. So I think that's a big thing, and that's one thing down why I really enjoyed that Birmingham save uh, back in FM two thousand eight. Even though I probably played it in like two thousand ten because I yeah I had the game for a while. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. Leave your comments if you're saying, do you like signing uh, players that say that's, I think this is what suits me the best, not like a top tech, because when you're a top team, obviously uh, you think it's pretty easy to win everything, uh, but and but I have to be in a top league so I know the players. So I think a mid-table team like Aston Villa is perfect for me because I can sign those players I wouldn't normally for a bigger team and yeah, just do something different. And that's one thing for me. I don't like Oh uh, yeah, I don't like signing the same players, so I'm, you're probably not going to see that. Maybe a couple of younger players, but yeah, I never really uh, leave in the comments if you're the same. Do you like not like signing the same players every single time because it gets boring? But we'll see if there's any uh, centre backs transfer listed. But right now there isn't really Leon Barnett from Norwich. I uh, see this is a guy you wouldn't sign. You wouldn't sign him for a top team, but he's available. That's like those are the kind of signings I like when you're a lower team and you can just pick up someone that's not amazing, but he can. Oh, yeah, he, I probably wouldn't sign him, but just similar options to that. If you look at anyone else, uh, you got Matt Mills from Bolton. Again, he's someone you wouldn't go for. He's got good tackling, uh, some pretty good mental attributes. Like, he's a signing you'll never go for at, like, a, a top four Premier League, a Premier League team or even top six. And, and that's the thing, because I remember used to watching Aston Villa, like, a couple of years ago. They were, like, a top eight team, sometimes coming fifth or sixth. And, yeah, I really liked them back then. They had some quality players. Like, I remember playing like uh, guys like Milan Baros. He was a very good player. And just those similar players. And I'm pretty sure he... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was Aston Villa. Just got to check. And I'm not sure if he's still in the game because he's probably older now. But we see uh, what he's up to. Yeah, he's still in the game. Uh, there is Milan Baros. at a Turkish team, I believe that is. Uh, yeah, he used to play for Aston Villa. Yeah, back in this season, that's where in Aston Villa, they were coming like a decent position in the league. Um, obviously not the second season, but the first season, yeah, he was decent. Scored eight goals and twenty-five appearances, and yeah, he was a good. Um, and obviously, Ang Hal as well. Uh, as well, I've got to check for him. Juan Pablo Ang Hal. He was, yeah, I think they were they were at the team at the same time. They were very a lethal striking force, from what I can remember. They should be in the same season as yeah. He was, yeah, he was another the one that was uh, I re- liked very much. Uh, he was a very good striker, and that's something I want to bring back. Obviously, I'm playing with one striker, but. It, that's not the thing I'm talking about. Just players that can form partnerships, can play well together, and yeah, just those kind of players. So hopefully I can do that. Players, like I said before, just signing players that aren't amazing, and that will that will hopefully make me enjoy it. And yeah, I think other people should enjoy this, but the, if not heaps of people, I, honestly, uh, it doesn't matter too much to me. Obviously, it matters uh, to me if people like it or not, but honestly, it won't it won't lead me to stop doing it because first and foremost, I do it for me. And yeah, if people enjoy it, that's good, I guess. But yeah, uh, that's because I, I, I just do series that I like, not what other people want, because then I wouldn't enjoy, enjoy it so much. If I do a career that some like other people want, but I don't want to do it, uh, it definitely won't last long. And yeah, you're just always going to see that, but I'll leave it that for now. Uh, so leave, people can leave their thoughts, even though I'll probably record the next part before then, before I even upload this. But uh, yeah, just so you get the general idea behind what are my plans with this series. And have heaps of messages to attend to. Not heaps, but you got those team meetings uh, that honestly, I find them annoying eventually. But yeah, just got to deal with them. So I'll leave it that for now. Please leave your comments and your thoughts and everything. And hopefully this can be ex- like a very successful uh, reign at Aston Villa. Like I said, if you go to their confidence... Um, they're only expecting me to come mid-table, so that really suits for me. Uh, like, so I can just build the team for the first couple seasons, sign some players for the future, and hopefully they can come in because we definitely have a, a team to not get relegated with. So I'll leave that for now. Hopefully you enjoy this series coming up. And yeah, uh, if you leave a like, that'll be very much appreciated. And a comment also, because the more comments I get, as I always say, the more inclined, the more interested I feel to make the next episode and upload the next episode, yeah, next episode as well. So I'll leave it at that for now, and I'll see you guys then.